what's up everybody i'm back with my 1999 dodge durango project um as you know i uh sold my toyota forerunner and picked up uh went back to the durango platform because yeah it's just bigger um and has more room for the family and the dog and everything else so um but one thing i wanted to achieve with this durango was uh having the uh same off-road performance that i had in my forerunner uh it was a 95 second gen so that was pretty amazing um 488 gears and locked front and rear so i wanted to see if i could get that same kind of performance in a durango first gen uh, platform and i got the nine and a quarter rear i had the 355 stock gears and I upgraded those to the 456s and put a uh, lock right locker back there. Um, I would have gone with Spartan because I've had a lot of success with Spartan. Uh, but unfortunately, they only make for the eight and a quarter, not the nine and a quarter. So I had to go with lock right. For the front, however, uh, yeah. I did my research and I found a Spartan that worked and we got it installed and here you can see these are my my factory spiders um, those are out factory cross pin um, use the cross pin with the kit and it's in there so what we're gonna do in this video is this is going to be uh, my first time putting it in four-wheel drive um, with that locker in there and for anybody who's wondering there's my part number slm 35-1.5-27 so it's a dana 35 uh, 1.5 inch side gear bore uh, 27 spline uh, do be careful because they do make another that's an m35-1.6 uh, and that has a 1.63 um, side gear bore so don't get that one um but yeah so it's in there it's installed um the only caveat would be uh was not able to retain the factory c-clips um it's just too tight um you know with that thick ring, ring gear on there so um even without the, the the clips everything is really tight and i don't think there's going to be any movement and honestly for my application i think it's going to be just fine so anyway i'm going to cut here in a minute and there's my, my pumpkin right there yeah okay so i'm gonna it's kind of this uh not a super super big test but what i can tell you is in the past I always come over to this rock and when I get my front tire up on this rock here um, what will happen is is that one will stay and I just start spinning and digging out a hole right here and then of course back here so just kind of a real simple test um, but it'll be meaningful to me I'll be able to tell right away whether or not I have increased off-road performance with that front locker so as I come up to this rock and I put my wheel up here it should just crawl right over that no problem whatsoever so anyway let's set up a couple cameras and we'll capture this first time experience um, with the front locker in the first gen Durango
So yeah, uh, I definitely just walked right up that obstacle. So.